Hey, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, we are going to talk about how to configure an OSPF distribution list using route maps. So in a previous video, we talked about how to uh, filter OSPF routes using an ACL. In this case, we're going to use a route map, and a route map has the ability to use a set command as well. So not just to match particular IPs or routes, uh, but also to set things like administrative distance on those routes. So um, looking at our route table, show IP route, shows us that we are learning uh, six different routes from our neighboring routers. So these are OSPF routes. Um, yeah, 1.1.1.1, 1 .1 .1 .1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all host routes slash 32s, all coming from the same gateway. So what we're going to do is we can either create an ACL first or a prefix list, but this is what the what the route map is interested in. So this is what it's going to match, right? So it, it needs a, a match and a set command, and we're going to match IP address. So we're going to create a prefix list. So IP prefix dash list. Um, we give it a name, call it filter me, uh, give it a sequence. These are just like line numbers, right? So sequence five. Um, and then we're going to permit 1.1.1.1 slash 32. Uh, and then let's do dot two, and we'll make it sequence number, whoops, sequence number 10. Okay, so we got two lines in our prefix list, right? So the next thing is we want to create a route map. So it's route dash map. Um, give, it, give it a name, so we'll call it filter map. Doesn't matter what we call it. Permit and one. Okay, so now... We, have, we can have a match command and a set command, right? So we're going to match um, IP address. And so here under the match, it could have been an ACL, right? Uh, standard or extended ACL, uh, or it could have been a, um, a named ACL or a prefix list. So in our case, we're going prefix dash list. Um, tell it what the name was, which was filter me. Okay. So hit enter there. Now you have the ability to do a set if you want to. So we could say set, um, you know, uh, interface or, or um, you know, next hop, things like that, set a metric. Let's set an administrative distance just for kicks. So administrative distance, and we'll set it to 200 on these uh, particular routes. Okay. So now we have our prefix list done. We have our route map, which matches the prefix, uh, those prefixes that we put in the list, and then sets an administrative distance to 200 on those particular prefixes. Then we go into router OSPF, and we do a distribute list uh, route map. Uh, and what did we call that thing? We called it filter me. Nope, we call it filter map, excuse me. Um, and then inbound. Okay, so we should have a fully operable uh, route map here. So if I do a show IP route, what do we see? Uh, so now we no longer see 1.1.1.3, 4, 5, or 6. Those guys are missing, right? And what we do see is the two that we've learned here have an administrative distance of 200. So that is uh, as opposed to 110, which they would have had a, as a default under OSPF. So not only can you filter uh, particular routes, but you can, um, you can modify those routes on the way in. So as a, a, an ACL is, uh, is good and effective, but this gives you more flexibility in terms of uh, how you how you filter those and what uh, what values you can set on those as they come in. All right, so that's it for today, and thanks for joining. We'll see you again. Take care.